Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, students. This is Professor Sistrong, and I want to personally welcome you, welcome you to the Linux class. Yes, let's talk Linux. Well, the class is open. You will be able to go into D2L and actually see the Linux shell or the D2L shell. One of the things you received from me today, and if you haven't received that, you need to contact me ASAP, is that you are now able to log into your Linux course. I'm at the campus right now. You're gonna see people walking behind me. That's okay, but I feel comfortable and I feel like I just wanted to open up this room so I can have some space. So when you log into your D2L shell, you will see, hey, welcome to the class. And you will always remember, I put this saying in there, only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Linux is not hard, it's not confusing, it's really a simple course, and all you have to do is do your due diligence and do the work. That's it. Right next up under that, you will, you will see your instructions. Now, to actually get in my course, it's gonna cost $29.95, which you will go purchase like you do in the test out courses and everything, but this is just a little cheaper. Thank God for that. <laughs> Every penny helps. Once, once you go through that and you walk through the process of logging into Linux, and I'm gonna show you a little bit on that. We're gonna walk through that process you're going to go to the course content and in the course content you will see the syllabi so let's open up the syllabi now the syllabus and you already know it's your road map this is where you go to do your work to know what work you got to do to know where you have to be and most importantly to know what assignments need to be turned in and what time so I'm not going to spend too much on the syllabus because you pretty much know how to read a syllabus yourself. But the main thing that I want to point out is we have approximately 26 chapters in this class. And guess what? It's some students going to say, oh my God, 26 chapters. Don't fall out. Don't get nervous. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. And we're going to take our time. We don't have to rush. The chapters are not really that long. They're real simple and they get directly to the point. That's what this course is about. Not giving you a bunch of material to read and break down, but get you directly to the point. We're going to start off by getting started in Linux. That's going to give us an introduction. That's going to also show us a little bit about the shell. And it's going to also get us into the point of actually doing configuration. You're going to hit the ground running. I love this class. Also, then you're gonna to move to the basic file management. We're gonna give you an understanding of what the file management is about. We're gonna work with text. We're gonna actually get to uh, partitioning. We're gonna to get to advanced file managing. And we're gonna end with pretty much booting the system and uh, also system software. What I didn't mention was the administration of the file system because that's what you're learning how to become a, a Linux system administrator. That's what this whole class is all about. But listen, we're going to take our time. We're going to step ourselves through this. We're not going to rush. Okay, so that's what this is all about. Now, moving along, you're going to see your grading in here, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not going to go through all that. But what's most important is that you have due dates. Make sure you make your due dates. I am really gonna stand on this class and making sure students make their due dates. So please. And roughly what you're gonna do is you're just gonna do reading, exams, lab up, lab, lab, lab. You know that you know I throw a lot of labs at you because I really want you to understand the material. Now that's the syllabus. You can read that on your own, so I'm not gonna stay too focused in that. Also, that's pretty much it when it comes to D2L. You go in here, you get your syllabus, and also you pretty much look at this first page. You don't have to take, check your grades in here because you will always see your grades. Now, the next place, the next thing you will receive in this email is a pretty much 
up a simple way to go ahead and log in Linux. So I'm gonna send you this quick guide of what you have to do. Remember, you have to first go into D2L. That description on how to get to your course material is planted right here. It's also planted on the syllabus. So right here gets you exactly to the point. And if you have a problem with it, hey, we're gonna be in class tomorrow, we can break it out. But for those who don't have a problem with it, okay, kudos to you. Now, we this quick, this quick snap or quick guide will walk you through everything you need to do as you walk through it. So when you go into NDG, and begin to sign up for the class, just make sure you print out the click guide and have it sitting next to you so you dot all your I's and cross all your T's. And you know you're in Linux Administrator 1, so don't choose Linux Administrator 2. You gotta get your access code to get in. You receive the email from me, and that's pretty much gonna walk you through it. You receive the email in your D2L email box from Linux, from Netacab. So this program is in Netacab, which is the Cisco Net Academy, and you all you have to do is click on that link and get things started, but utilize this if you haven't already. Because I sent that to you earlier today. Okay, now with that being said, a couple of things you already know. You will be going into your Linux course, and here it is. This course is sponsored and pushed by Cisco. And if you know anything about Cisco, you probably took our routing and switching classes. Cisco uh, have a relationship with NDG. Cisco also do uh, programming classes. You're gonna see a lot of stuff coming from our department that's gonna be incredible. We're doing a lot of new things and you're gonna really, if you thought cloud computing was to start, just wait and see the new stuff that's coming down. I'm moving a lot into the development of courses because I will be developing the Linux class. This class here is going to be an on-premise class, but later on I'm going to tell you about some information on how we're going to turn this class into an online class. But bear with me because i got a few things to show you. Now, once you log in and you use your access key and you inside of the portal, I'm gonna choose the student version. So when you receive that link from Cisco inviting you into the class, what you will notice as a student, you will come to a page similar to this if you get to the page. But the most important thing is to be able to do any assignment in here, you will have to log in. So what will happen once you click on getting started, what's gonna happen? This screen is gonna pop up. So you have to purchase your access code and you're gonna come put your access code in here to get started. You cannot start unless you get that access code. And if you need more information when you come into the class uh, tomorrow, I'll break it down. But I know a lot of you are smart, so you ain't gonna have a problem with this. You're gonna be able to knock this part out. Yes, this is your book. This is what we call an online text and an online book of everything in Linux, okay? Now you here. So now I'm gonna come out to student version to show you some of the bells and windows. I said bells and windows. <laughs> show you some of the new features in Linux. My God, what's going on? <laughs> okay, man, I really like this course, and y'all, I know you're gonna enjoy it. Okay, it's work. Don't get me wrong, it's work, but you're gonna get really get a chance to enjoy working in Linux. So here we go. Now. I'm going to go ahead and click on module and from module I'm going to click on start and from now I'm going to click here. What will happen when you get your uh, class registered and you get everything in and everything is going well, you will be able to log into the, the class and actually do your work. You're going to have over here a welcome screen. This welcome screen is going to where you're going to read your information. So you're going to always read your information here and then do your text. Now, one of the things I want to say about here, this will pop up. This is the screen where you're going to do your Linux work. 
So if I come in here and decide to do something in here, this is my VM. This is a virtual machine, which is Linux. And guess what version we're gonna be learning? We're gonna be learning Ubuntu. Why Ubuntu? Because I wanted to introduce you to two different versions of Linux. Now I know you're saying, that's a version. No, distributions, and I'm gonna talk about that later. So anyway, you're gonna learn two different distributions of Linux. I'm going to teach you Ubuntu, and I'm going to teach you a little of Scent OS. So these are two different versions of Linux. And the reason I'm introducing you to two different versions is because I want you to have the ability to really dig in and get enough knowledge in Linux. When you complete this class, you will fully understand Linux if you do it like I asked you to do it. Now, if you're one of them students who want to knock it out in three days, well... Hey, what can I say? <laughs> You're a bad person. <laughs> and bad means good. I think you understand that philosophy. Anyway, but you simply going to read the information and then you're going to do the work over here on the side. So the first thing it asks me to do is type in SU. So SU gives me password. I need a password. Then I have the password right here. I type in, as you can see, it's at the top. Let's see if this password works. Bam! I'm inside the system. And it's going to explain everything over here for you. It's going to tell you SU command, hit enter. It's going to give you everything you know. You're just simply trying to learn about the system. So you're going to use the SU to get inside the system and begin to execute. And we're going to talk a little bit about this as I go because I'm going to consistently make video logs demonstrating this but I'm going to use my own Linux documents so you won't say professor I just did that why are we doing it again okay anyway so if I want to change the directory I just go cd and if you if you a DOS person you already know this so you pretty much caught up on this okay so there it is. I can change the directory. Oh, well, I didn't change it. I actually made a mistake, but I can see it's my spelling. And that's it. It's case sensitive. So now if I go CD space D O C U M E N S right there, then the directory changes. This is how simple it is. You just read the information on one side and then you complete it on the next side. Now, do you have to do labs? Yes, you have to do labs. So I'm gonna close this. So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna go into assignments. My assignments folders will actually give me my labs and it will give me my exams. So you're gonna have to do labs, you're gonna have to do exams, but you have to read the material. I wanna make sure you understand Linux. I'm gonna click here. My first lab is in chapter two. I'm going to click here, and here is how your labs would look. Remember what I said. Remember, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. We're going to step you through the process little by little. We're not going to have you just jumping in and doing a whole lot of stuff. You're going to step through little by little. Each step is going to teach you a different command get you better at it. Now, if you notice, you see this screen taking this time to come up, and I tell students, you're on a VM that's in the data center somewhere in the world. So why are you on that VM? I want you to take your time and let it come up. And if sometimes you see it blinking, just hit the enter key and it'll jump in. But if you have problems, up here's a little help key. You can click submit feedback. And when they receive that feedback, look, it's asking you various things. When they receive that feedback, you're gonna be able to clear up. They're gonna clear up the problem. Just click feedback and find out what problem it is. Another most important thing is this. If you got a highly secure system, you mean we may have to check that with the VM. On my system, I have what I call a, a VMP. Did I say that right? VPM. I said VMP. What am, what am I drinking? VMP, <laughs> VPM, and I also have a real dedicated software package that cleans my system up. But we'll talk about that if you run into any problems. You shouldn't run into problems, but just know highly secure systems, the VM may have some issues with. But in our labs, you don't have a problem at all. Okay. So that's pretty much 
the nut and bolts of the course. If you come in to class tomorrow, you heard me say help, I'm gonna clear that up. If you come in to class tomorrow, I'm gonna go do this again because I wanna make sure that you really log into the system. But I know a lot of you guys, you know what you're doing. You don't need me to go over this again and again and again, okay. So let's go over here. Now, okay, so we pretty much know we're gonna be in a Cisco portal. You pretty much know you received the link from me. You pretty much know what you're gonna do. Now, I will be going over a PowerPoint presentation today. It's gonna be really quick. It's gonna go over chapter one, two, and three. These are not long chapters. These are chapters you just have to read. But what I wanna do is talk to you about the structure of the class, and I'm gonna spend a few minutes on that. So you're gonna receive two of these video links from me. One is just going through a PowerPoint presentation and doing some work in Linux, but this one here is to get you lined up and get you ready to go. So I already told you, one, you're gonna receive this here, in this, this will be inside of this link instructing you on what to do in Linux. Let's get going, let's get it going. Uh, and this, you already know that you're gonna have to go through D2L to get your information about Linux. And here, you're gonna see that once you get in the course, what you have to do. But let me tell you the structure of this class. Okay, so this class is full, okay? We have approximately, at my last count, 12 students in here, and that's roughly how we wanna keep it. When you come to the lab tomorrow, I wanna make sure I already got one section set aside for us to sit at, and that's why I want everybody to sit at who comes in. And if you notice, you keep hearing me say, who comes in? Well, this class is being transformed into an online class. I spoke about that earlier. I'm using you to actually make it a real robust class where you be, be able to do what you need to do. Now, when you come to the lab, the lab will be dedicated from 8.30 to 3, nothing but completing the assignments. We've got quite a few assignments in here. And for some of you, when you come to the lab, you really want to just get those assignments done. And I want you to get them done, too, because you want to spend the rest of the week doing whatever you want to do. But I have a large majority of students in my class who are working students. And they came to me, a few of them, and said, hey, Professor Sistra, I really want to join, get in your Linux class, but I have to work. And I said, well, we're turning this class in the next semester. You will notice this class will be online. So I'm giving those students the privilege to be able to go home and do their Linux work at home without coming to the class. You don't have to show up to the class, but the class is here. You, you do not have an excuse saying, I can't get my work done. And those students know at the end of the week, when that due date is done, if you don't have that work turned in, you are receiving a zero. But I just can't section it off for those students. I have to make this offer to all students. So all students will have the right to either show up at the lab, and if you really, really need Linux help, show up at the lab, but also you can actually work from home or at the office or wherever you'll be working for. I wanted to present this to the students because we are restructuring a lot of our classes, and I'm playing a major role in making sure that these classes go. A lot of the institutions out here, Harvard, Yale, Princeton, but City of Chicago schools, um, all the different schools in the Rain Valley and all that, they have a really robust online program. And we are, we don't have that. And I've been asked to do a lot of curriculum development, making sure that we can take our classes from on-premise to online, but in a structure or learning way. The professors who will be teaching these classes after I build them out, they're gonna have to create video lectures like I'm doing now. They're gonna have Zoom conference. We are gonna call it streaming, where you can log in anywhere in the world and be streaming in your class with your professor while they are doing a the demonstration. That's the most important thing. Now, for those of you who can't get set up, if you show up tomorrow, we're gonna get you set up and we're gonna talk a little bit more about Linux. But for those of you who got this down, you don't have to show up at all, okay? You just have to go in here and get your work done. 
If you don't have your work done by next Friday, you will receive a zero. And those students who work in, they know I'm not going to be playing. We are taking it serious. But this gives me a chance to see how students interact with this new class, the new way we're going to do things online, not actually having to come out. Now, will I be in the lab every Saturday? That is my job. Saturday, I will be there and I'll be able to explain things to you and work with you and all that. But the major thing is you're going to receive a video log from me. You will have your assignments to do. I'm going to instruct on a video log about the new parts of it. You're going to get a second video, video from me about the Linux shell and all this. I'm actually going to do some instructions. But I want you to know that if you are one of the studious students who have your skills together, you don't have to worry about showing up tomorrow. But if you don't show up tomorrow and you lacking your work, you will suffer because it's real. You have to do your work. And I'm really not gonna have you suffer. I'm just gonna give you, I'm just gonna give you the grade that you should get. I mean, I really, what can I do to you? But those students shared that with me. I'm developing these courses for online and I thought it'd be nice. So you are gonna be reintroduced to this new platform and I hope you enjoy it. I think you're gonna really enjoy it. Now it looks like it's a lot, but it's really not. You're learning Linux and you're gonna be learning it step by step. When you get in here and you start pushing out these commands, you're gonna be like, people told me this stuff was hard. Linux is not hard at all. If you know how to work in a GUI world, you can work in a command world. The only difference between a GUI world and a command world is this. When I tell people what GUI is, I say, do you have a car? They say, yes. I say, is that car automatic or a stick? They say, well, it's an automatic. Most people drive automatic cars, just like most people use the GUI or the Windows platform. But a lot of us drive a stick. And when we started driving that stick, we had to learn how to drive the stick. And that's the Linux world. You taking control of the operating system. Where in the GUI world, you have to do what the operating system tell you to do. So show up tomorrow if you can't get this down the way you want it to be so we can actually play around. You see the platform is here. You're going to be able to do your commands on one side and on the other side, you're going to be able to type them in. This is Professor Sistra. I enjoyed this, moment, this little session right here. Please review the video. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up because I'm going to be pushing out a lot of videos. And uh, also subscribe, you know, subscribe because I'm going to put this on my platform and you're going to see videos rolling out. Uh, once again, this is Professor Sistrunk, and I will see you in the next video log, and I'll also see you tomorrow in class where we can have a ball. Good night.